Welcome back to Repo Rethink Politics, where we'll get back into our discussion with the media and how they are not addressing the current issues or the hard questions that should be asked to the White House. No, I want to, I just want to hear Eve, uh, we've been talking about this media shit for a while. Yeah, I wanted to help him segue <laughs> yeah. definitely so, into, what the fuck's up with this media thing you got going on? Yeah, man. So, so, all right. So I don't know if you guys have seen it. So they had the, you know, the White House press, press briefings. Um, uh, I guess it's daily. I don't know. So they had one recently. I want to say it was like maybe Monday or whatever. Um, and they uh, and April April Ryan, who's one of who's CNN's one of CNN's uh, analysts or reporters, and she's she's well known, um, you know, black woman, um, very good at what she does. She's always been in these White House White House press briefings, and she always goes out of her way and she makes sure that she asks the questions that the people, you know, want want to hear. So in this um, in the White House press press briefing, after that, it was announced that. The Eagles weren't invited to the White House. April Ryan asked um, a very good question. See, it was key the way she asked it. She said, um, you know, Sarah, Sarah Sanders, um, does President Trump um, understand what the protest is about? And she didn't answer the question. And st- well, first yeah, of all, no. she didn't want to answer her at all. She tried to move on to the next person. Yeah, she was like straight up just like not acknowledging her and then trying to act like she's being rude instead of being rude i'm gonna move on to the next person if we can just if i can answer the question and it was like yo it's it's a simple question she's repeating the same question so eventually her answer is i've been very clear as they always do uh president trump has been really clear it's been very clear he wants the nfl players to stand up and respect the flag and it's like nah that's not what she's asking do you know what they're protesting and then she never answered the question and moved on but my point to go back is that's the way you need to those questions. Get straight to the point. Don't dance. Don't sugarcoat. Straight up ask the question. Like not the, hey, what does he think about the protest? Or not, hey, um, why didn't you invite them to the White House? It's like, nah, 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 nah. Let's skip, skip, skip. Let's get to the source. Does he know what the pr- protest is about? That I love that question. Cause, but the problem is she's one person. And, and she's the minority in the group. So then when they jumped to the next question, it was a totally different question. They moved on from the topic. That was like the perfect like so, example of exactly how the media so runs. I, right I, I want to jump and in on that. It's what you were saying, Mike. All right. Yeah. But I want to jump in on that because I'll, I'll there was, I think it was an NBC mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. representative who, who asked the question in a different way. They said, so the Supreme Court said that the baker uh, had the right to refuse making a cake to a gay couple. So if you respected yeah, that definitely. right and you stood up and mm-hmm. the president respected that, how come he's not respecting the right of the NFL players to do that? And they said that's not a political issue that right. you know the president really wants to um, be going into. And, and she tried to dance around it again. So when you do say that, you know, people, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and I do agree with you, they don't want to lose their spot. I agree with that. I was like, ah, I can't lose my spot, bro. I just can't do it. Um, so I got to, yeah, the access, I, I, I got to be careful. Yeah, so they're wow. doing it in different ways, but they, they are challenging it. Right. And, and this idiot keeps coming up. And even when that came up with the NFL, he turned around and said, oh, yeah, and by the way, Juliana, go tell everybody that I can pardon myself. And, and that's some ridiculous shit. So all the press had to do now is like, is that mm-hmm. fucking true? Mm-hmm. Can he really? And then all the resources went to that because the next time they showed up, they had to ask that question. So even though you saying, no, nah, no, nah, mm-hmm. they need to stick to it. No, yeah. this, this dude just told you, you know what? When they try saying. to convict me and I know I'm fucked up, I'm going to pardon my. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of pardons that you see right now. And then I'm going to sneak in and say, oh, yeah. I got the right to do that. Well, he can, mm-hmm. but the next day he'll be impeached. No, he won't. No, he fucking mm-hmm. won't. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. What's more important? Like, you know what I mean? The the, the, the players being able to protest because of police shooting or the, the president pardoning mm-hmm. himself. You know what I'm saying? So 
You can ask that question. Sure, that's fine. But let's move on to what we really want to know. And that's yeah. where the media and is filled with mostly white people. They probably don't really care as much. You know, they don't yeah. really feel Absolutely. it the way in April Ryan would feel it. You know, so yeah. it's I don't know. That's where the media loses me. I don't think they feel the pulse of what people yeah, actually want to know. I feel like, you know, as from an African African American perspective, post Katrina, you know, like yeah. I think Katrina wow. was like what oh five yeah. whatever. Mm, it's wild. Yeah. But I'm saying like oh seven oh eight. I'm like, <laughs> what's going what's, what's going on with Katrina? Right. Oh six. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel that's about Puerto saying. Rico right now. That's yeah. my analogy. <laughs> I know, you know, <laughs> this is like, I know Latinos are, you know, folks affected by like, what? So we're just going to act like Puerto Rico yeah. is good, mm-hmm. you know, like people, like in right. terms of the interest, you know, that's just not no. like, you know, that. that shit is not aligned in terms of the financial. Well, Puerto Rico has no should get reported assets on. or uh, yeah. anything that the president sees as Basically, a benefit. Yeah, there's no reason. And they're brown. There's no reason for him to give a fuck. Yeah, the photo, because everyone yeah, was the, there. So he went to the photo op to get one. You know what I mean? And then he was like throwing toilet paper and shit around. But, mm-hmm. yeah. So you need to bring the story to him. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, they, the same question, fuck the pardon and fuck the, the where's your wife, Melania. Like, hey, mm-hmm. what's going on in Puerto Rico? No, don't even say that because, see, that's, that's falling into the trap. You need to go deeper and then, you know, Hey, um, what is specific? Like, what's uh, so and so organization, or how is uh, 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 I don't know, I don't know what the organization. No, is. we you spend know, how, we how spend much spending, yeah. millions of dollars in recovering of Puerto. It has been reported that blah 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 blah. What are we doing? Either to say, does the million dollars that we're putting there is doing something mm-hmm. for it, or are we really interested into? rebuilding our our citizens island back right. has this been placed on yeah. the table with the president so you already have mm-hmm. data points that you know you did do something but it looks like it ain't shit and now yeah. you you are having something going on so what is the answer and that's not exactly. what we're not getting right yeah it should be exactly the way when houston went down it should be the same conversation because we were talking more about houston yep you know, when that whole thing happened, that kept going until everything got better. And then we knew that they were they were good eventually. But I mean, can we can we do the same thing with Puerto Rico? Because there's still I think the new the new story was about how it was like four. It was actually more like four thousand deaths and not actually the, the, the two digit number that the government put out. Yeah. I, I'm, I mean, I got to look that up. No, but it, I mean, they came back mm-hmm. with a, a much higher number than that's, what was yeah. reported. Um, earlier, put it that way. We reported earlier. Just, um, but just real mm-hmm. quick. Um, oh, we we got a. Uh, I want to introduce a new segment to the show. Um, uh Corrupt alert. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Corrupt alert. Corruption alert. alert. Corrupt. <laughs> uh, uh, corruption, uh, corruption corner. CC. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so Scott Pruitt, I think. Um, did you hear the report that the motherfucker had his uh, office yeah. call? The, his, the office of the CEO of Chick Fil A to, to set up a meeting, and and oh, it was shit. to set up a job for his wife because oh, they they was upset about <laughs> yo they was, they was upset about now. the cost of housing because they got to uh, maintain their house in their home state and in DC. Oh my god! Yo, I can't right, don't you know what? <laughs> search it, search EPA Chick Fil A. Oh, yo, he's so like, like, yo, he's like the perfect villain, yeah. like in a movie that just, like, you write that shit, and it's like, yo, they got, they got to yeah, get rid of him, like, you know. He, he <laughs> continues to get away. It's like we yeah. need Batman. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Get, get, <laughs> get this fucking dude, you know. Yeah. And he's just skating. And then you just finding so much corruption. To your point, there's a man. We'll have a list where every time we do this goddamn segment. But yeah, but <laughs> how often we bring him up? Ridiculous! <laughs> wow, man, I didn't know that though. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm he ain't going away. He's, he's posting fucking, it he's... now. Yeah, just in case y'all want to read more about it. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, and apparently he was talking shit because they man. had to testify, and he was uh, basically his senior aide. Uh, quit so he, he threw the, the aid under the bus 
Yeah, had an uh, eight that resigned. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah. The, the Chick fil A CEO, yeah, too. See, so say. that's the guy. He, he's the religious guy who says, you know. Yeah. You know, the hell with gay okay. people and all of that. And he doesn't open on Sundays because everyone should go to church. Yeah. yeah. We, we live that down here. <laughs> so, But I want to go back to the, the Supreme Court um, ruling. And it was it's pretty vague, even though they ruled um, for that guy, for that baker. And then, like they said, now, what about the photographer? What about the dressmaker and all of those with gay people? But, and maybe I'm thinking extreme. Maybe it's because I'm black. And, you know, maybe I live with anxiety Uh-oh. because nope. I've been living like this you. for I'm all about my to send life. You an article. Right. So, if they make the decision to say, you know what? Part of my religion says that black people are not the type of people that we should deal with or Muslim people they can cite this Supreme Court ruling and say that's based on my religious um, right that I don't have or I don't have to bring these people in and they set that president up to say we're infringing on his rights but you're not infringing on his rights if these are people but yet if they're going to take that small portion then there's portions of the Bible that says slavery is fine. The fuck? So, Mike, I, there's a South Dakota lawmaker who beat you to it. Check out the article I just posted. And check, just read the headline. Oh, my God. <laughs> just read the Turn away people of color. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Just based on, I feel like yeah, based on the Supreme yeah. Court ruling. <laughs> it was like, well, shit. It, you know, it's, a, it's their business. So even if they yeah. still want to turn around people of color, that's their choice. That's what we come to, man. He, del- that's what we he come deleted to. the shit. Yeah. He apologized, but come on. But it's out there, though. So someone's going to find a way yeah. to say, now, how do I relate it to my religion? And they'll find a, a verse in the Old Testament that will tell you something in relating to that. They said, well, you should be practicing the new, t-. no, I shouldn't. That's not my religion. My religion isn't based on the new Testament. It is based on the old Testament. And you kind of like, damn this motherfucker, but now you got to deal with it. So I think that is the most dangerous thing. And I'm not sure um, how they was able to just say it's okay. Because I didn't read the ruling and I wanted to read some of it because I know I'm going to have a um, discussion about that with a couple of people I know um, when that comes up. Crazy. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, you, you got it. You're right. And I, that was the first thing that came to my mind. I never think about the now because when you're dealing with the now, that's a problem because you got to say that's why legislation has to be done you know nationally because if you don't do that then you segregate the fact that you you allowing some people to do certain things and others are still able to do things that they shouldn't or are doing that they should you know what i mean it's it's a weird dynamic that you really got to yeah. be careful with and that's why you should have smart people in charge not motherfuckers who just says you know <laughs> i'm the king so people should just listen to whatever i say and if i lie i can just turn around nine minutes later and say something totally different and you have to believe me because I'm walking away and I'm not going to answer your ass. Hmm. Hmm. Ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why these elections, man, it's the, 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 this year, the November elections are important right now because because uh, I because I even seen the one with the, the white mm-hmm. the white nationalists that's trying to oh, run. Yeah. There's a lot of them. I mean, Man, it's 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 becoming a, like they're outright just saying, "Oh yeah, white supremacy." Yeah, you, did you guys saw, you guys saw that interview with the CNN or the MSNBC reporter where the the, the guy was running and he was sitting there. Oh, and then he talked to the black yeah, girl and she was like, mixed. "I'm mixed," and I went to Harvard. Yeah, he was like, "Well, that's the smart, that's the smart part." Of yeah, that I'm the white part. Of yeah, and. And she was looking at him like, like "Are what? you fucking kidding me?" She said, "By the way, she said that I was that that the that other half is Jewish." By the way, and it oh, <laughs> I missed that part. Yeah. I, I, I think she only said that oh. in a in an in interview. 
when uh, in response. I, don't, I didn't see it on video. Oh, it didn't. It wasn't on yeah, video. Yeah, so I don't know what his reaction was. That but, like, but that's I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little fatigued <laughs> by just the whole supremacy shit. Just because people, yeah. this new wave of motherfuckers just calling police on black people, like, and then there's there's no consequence. I'm with you. Yeah. Like, if you call the police on me just because you think I'm suspicious, yeah, nothing happens. And, and they're going to show up too. So the yeah. problem is they're just going to show up. And then I'll automatically not be against me. Not a, they're not going to assume mm-hmm. like oh this the caller is crazy or whatever. So I'm automatically gonna like I think uh, yeah. here's a story mm-hmm. that I heard I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, my uncle told me yeah he saw like a video somewhere. And again the funny I'm wondering now if this is a Russian mm-hmm. video. Let's let's assume it is. It is or it's not. But a guy let's say somewhere in the United States right. a white guy was walking down the street with the AR-15 or some auto assault rifle. Hey, has my right, Second Amendment, mm-hmm. this and that. The police, hey, like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, has my right, you know, here's my paperwork. All right, keep it moving. Black guy, hey, blah, 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 you know, get the police called immediately. And then before he can even say, you know, hey, here's my documentation, whatever, he's surrounded. Hey, put your hands and feet, lay down the weapon. So I'm, kind of, I'm thinking, like, okay, mm-hmm. either that's reality. That's propaganda, but either way, it's just kind of like I can just imagine. You know what I'm saying? That's like the lane, just just a threat, just not considered, like just automatically considered up to no good. You know what I'm saying? But but it's happened before when a police officer told a black man that he pulled over. He's like, "Here's my permit for my gun." He said, "Black people aren't allowed to have guns. How how could you get a permit?" He was like. Because I'm a citizen. No, nah, no, black people shouldn't be. No, nah, you're not allowed to have guns. And this is a fucking police officer. Now, again, I saw the video, but pff, who knows? Again, you you really got to be careful. And I thought that was part of where you was going to, E, was you don't know what you're seeing is actually true. Because even when I saw that um, FBI agent do the fucking flip and to shoot some goddamn body. I was like, that can't be fucking true. Man. <laughs> I, that shit just can't be true. Then they showed it up on fucking um what, what's his name? On CNN. Yeah, one of them goddamn things. And I was like, <laughs> that right. shit was fucking true. The and media. then it was like, well, he was just suspended and his, you know, and um he was bullshit. just put on desk yeah. duty with his mm-hmm. gun in the desk as opposed on, to on, on vacation. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we can't have a gun because you know we're just a threat, but based on our color, you know what I mean. Right. No more than that, but but back to the elections, dude. Because there's a so there was two things that you said, um, Chaz. One is there's a lot of alt right or nationalist type motherfuckers, but there's a whole lot of women, and there's a lot of um, gay people that's running now. Or transgender and all that. there's a lot yeah, of people, LGBT people, know the drill. Like, people are running. Sit, I mean, it's like we, yep. and that's and that's the cool thing about Obama is Obama is just such a calming effect. Like we're good. Mm-hmm. I don't need to get involved mm-hmm. in politics. I'll take my time. Maybe when I retire, I get it. And then Trump gets in. Is like you know when you're under threat, it's like you know you fight or fight or flee, fight or flee. Yeah, and you know motherfuckers yep. trying to fight. Yeah, yeah, it's a right. Yeah, I think it's a re, it's a reaction. You know what I mean? To obviously, you know, Obama went in and he changed the game, and then I feel like that's the Trump went in. The, like we always say, and like it's almost like an overcompensation. Like they just they just tried to the, the the I don't want to say just the racist, but white people wanted to go in and they wanted to get the opposite of Obama. So then now it's they like okay, it. oh, they got it. This yeah. is what this looks like. Yeah. And then it's like, and then everybody, and then, you know, everybody was like, fuck that, I'm going to run. Mm-hmm. So now I really feel like, you know, the reason why we don't have an answer to who's going to be on the Democratic side is probably, a, it's a good I thing. Do. I do. Cause, Wait. You know, because we need, we need that to be, who, to be defined right now. Who's, who's what's gonna, that? You, said, you know it's no. going to be on the ticket? Who's probably- no, 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 no. We don't oh, okay. know who's okay. going to be on the ticket. And I think that's the good thing because... You know, there was some woman going up against Diane Feinstein and her old ass mm-hmm. who's just been there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And 
and Man, now you're getting new people. This this woman is like a yeah. teacher. She was a school teacher and a yeah. volunteer and something else. But if you get these old heads, and I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, this foreshadowing shit you're doing e is fucked up. But um, <laughs> but you said you're if welcome. you get these old heads yeah. out of there, and you need to chuck mm-hmm. people up, what's gonna happen is new faces is gonna show up, and you never know who mm-hmm. they're gonna push because soon as these new people get in, they're gonna find somebody to follow, and yeah. it's not gonna be the older type people that's in there. So that's what you probably will yeah, see yeah, a, a leader rise from mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? And I and I think the key oh, for is sure. women. I think that's gonna be that's that's the most underrated. I don't even understand why it's not talked about enough. You know, half the population. You know, I mean, it's women. I mean, what are we talking about? You know, like it's like we haven't really seen women as true politicians that run states or cities and countries it's it's like it, and and i mean all the beliefs all the the policies they really are more favored on the democratic side and it's like i i, I don't think i don't think it's really been talked about enough and i think it's like oh like I, okay abortion uh women's okay. rights um you know mm-hmm. grab them by the pussy i mean and then all these republicans actually standing by the man that's been saying that kind of bullshit it's, it's just it makes sense that it's like there it is. You got uh, what's the woman? Um, the two women that went against one another in oh, Georgia. Stacey, and a- Stacey, Abrams. Stacey, uh, the two Stacey. Yeah, it was so, an Evans and Abrams. Abrams wrong. The Abrams one. Yeah, there was two Stacey. Yeah. Abrams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then that's to me that's healthy. You know what I mean? That's that's what's needed. Like they won because they they you know, well not they she won you know because she mm-hmm. earned it mm-hmm. you know and. and I think that's what's needed. When you have women, it's like you get the women voting for the women, you know, and then you get the men that are just paying attention. I mean, hopefully they're not right. a bunch of sexist men. Don't see women, you know, voting, but they tend to favor Republicans, you know. And I just that's what I, that's what I think the edge is. It's almost like it's almost like we need a a, a right. woman so Obama. Think about this know? though. Think about this, and this is where I was. You saw the turn. You saw the turn with the Me Too movement because there's always been women running, but the women has always been, eh, I got to be with the, you know, the old boy network. Oh, I got to conform to this. But yeah. because of the Me exactly. Too, they say, fuck that. Try grabbing me by the pussy. Try talking that bullshit to me. You seeing all of these men falling, you'll fall right with them. So the the uncomfortableness because exactly. i really wanted to say fear at first but not that's that's a um that's really uh almost in the yeah. sexist in the sense that women are are in fear of what they do i don't think there mm-hmm. was fearful they were careful because they knew what the status quo was the status quo because of the me too mm-hmm. movement has actually changed the, the the way women are going after things and a lot of women are intelligent that represents family as opposed to a man saying I'm representing everyone, but forgetting about the women and the children and things in that matter, because they're going after, hey, look, I'm one to be the guy that's in charge to help you out, where a lot of these women have yeah. just their ideology is we're going to help people who needs it like families. And the people who's running this family are these women. And if I can mobilize these women to say, that's me or that's what I wanted to be until I had to stay home with my children, but I'm going to help her out. I'm going to I'm going to be part of what she's yeah. doing because that's what I wanted to do or that's what I am doing. Because there's a lot of people, women that I'm hearing that really weren't even in politics, but they was like, I'm not taking this shit. I'm running for local whatever or i'm running for state and everything mm-hmm. yeah it's a lot of women that feel empowered and that's a, now. to yeah, me it's exactly, i i really it's respect that and i enjoy that change so if i'm going to go for a change i'm going to go for a change to say let's see what women can do let's put them in place let's just see how that's going to work out mm-hmm. i'm okay with that change i am i'm i'm i don't have any fear of that unless you're showing me that you're full of shit and you're just riding on the fact that you're a female and I should look at you to think that you're part of this movement. So I kind of, you know, look at a little background. You don't know 100% of what anybody is. But 
we need that change. We need that kind of voice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's what people thought of um, Hillary Clinton. They felt like she was just a woman that was playing all the same roles that every other politician, male politician performed. And was like, she wasn't really speaking for women, but she was trying to in, this, in that whole campaign thing. But that, then I mean, again, that really the last that. name probably can didn't we, help too. Can, so we, was, can we talk about Bill? Yeah, though, great segue. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You're welcome. Assist, You're welcome. swish. Um, <laughs> so he he talking about his book and all that shit, right? Right. Why? I'm trying to. What? Why did Monica Lewinsky come out again and then post Me Too movement? Why did he think that'd be a good idea for his ass so, to talk about it? What was the? Like, what was the? How did it come up in the um the conversation? Because all I kept seeing is the well, excerpts when. That guy was asking him the question. Go ahead. So two things. One, he's, he wrote, he's on a book tour, and the book is him, based, him talking shit, basically about Trump, and he's a fucked up president, he's a fucked up dude, which is okay, but it's one of those things to where, like, mm-hmm. the messenger is just kind of like, you know... Like, the bro, kettle you, thing, you right? Know, like, yeah, like, if I sell crack... Maybe I shouldn't be the messenger to be like, yo, you know, hey, this company, you're polluting the community. <laughs> you sell fucking crack. Yeah. Well, I, I used to sell crack. I don't I don't sell crack anymore. I so, apologize yeah, to it. everyone. Yeah. So Bill Clinton, with him being, you know, Bill Clinton doesn't really have a holier than thou platform. Not anymore. So when he tries to be, yeah, right. So, so when he tries to be a holier than thou and talk shit. Especially, but mainly post Me Too. Like, bruh, Harvey Weinstein just turned himself in like last week. Like, the motherfuckers is like, they was, like, they was gonna come get you know his what I'm ass. He ain't had no choice. <laughs> this shit's overdue. I know. So, so <laughs> what it took so long, is, really? Like, if if you're just removed from Harvey Weinstein, just turn himself in. That's gonna keep going mm-hmm. on. It's gonna be a trial. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just gonna be in the public, whatever yeah. you know. But uh, Cosby, for a while. he says but, he's you know, going to fight against the ruling now. That's fine, but bruh, you, the <laughs> fuck Cosby, the whole world, the whole world knew he ain't got no choice. Clinton he admitted to it. Girl. So it was just kind of like twenty years, whatever later. He do after me. He too. does. That's what I'm saying. Clinton need to shut it's up, like, man. Shit. Bill. He was even talking when Obama was no like, when they were the running. Remember Obama when he was election. running against Hillary, he and he, he was talking about shit about you know, yeah. you know, he's yeah. this black guys coming in, and I done this for black people. He you was know, like, "Yo, dude, shut the yeah. fuck up!" You know, shut up. He yeah. was about to he was about to fuck up um, yeah, Hillary, like, his bro, own wife's um, you know, campaign. I know some of you think Hillary she doesn't care he's about the talking. blacks, but she does. just like I do. <laughs> The black man, he's uh, not even no. all black. You know that, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I never told anybody this, but I got signed to Death Row Records. <laughs> but but he is so arrogant and 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 entitled that he still thinks he's he can do that. He's like, no, people love me, so he thinks he's a shit. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to do, and shall somebody say, "Sit down, dude." Yeah. Well, be like, be mm-hmm. like Carter, be in the back, you know, negotiate secret meetings between countries <laughs> and shit. Nah. I mean, he wasn't. He, I thought, I thought he was a but decent you, president. I'm just saying, so at the time, I'm saying, because no, no, no. What yeah, I'm saying, at the, yeah, at the time, at the time, like yeah. Carter just kind of he sits back, philanthropy, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, oh, he yeah, talks yeah, when yeah. he needs to. Give a yeah. quote here and there. Yeah, one term. Yeah. yeah. And Bush is painting. So that's a good Bush thing. is actually Bush <laughs> is a he's a great former, you know, he put he's, out his little memoirs. Mm-hmm. He paints the, you know, I'm sure he has a lot of guilt for the troops, so he paints the portraits of them and all that shit. Right. He he remember he was at the shooting thing, <laughs> the funeral. Mm-hmm. He was dancing, looking fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he know, was hanging he was out with Michelle Obama. Obama. Yeah. But you know what? He's covered shit, because of Trump. <laughs> now, people would have never looked at him any other way if Trump wasn't president. Yeah. Boys look like the he, shit. He looks like the shit right now. Yeah. People didn't invite him anywhere because yeah, do. he's not yeah, Trump. Because he's not Trump. That's fucked up <laughs> to say, but right. yeah, I would rather have him exactly. than this crazy motherfucker yeah. any day. 
But that doesn't mean mm-hmm. what we went through so, while he was in charge was here's, okay. Here's an here's the analogy. It's kind of like if you you know any undrafted you know whatever. So it's kind of like would you rather have some dude off the bench off any team, or would you, would you rather have J.R. Smith? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you would say like, bro, you know you want to have a good athlete on your basketball team, or but then J.R. Smith starts fucking up. You're like, you know what? Just give me that undrafted yeah, free agent. Off the bench over there. Yeah. yeah, he hasn't played a game in ten nah, years. At least try him. I mean, Jr. Jr. is a beast on the on the like the young young, young Jr. Jr. J- young We're not Jr. Talking beast. Young I'm just saying. We talking. He's not even that yeah, old I'm either. He's not even that old. He's just dumb. Yeah, he's unfortunately, just fucking, he's fucking old. You know, yeah, he's dumb though. It's... Marijuana is legal, but I think he's on some <laughs> other shit. I'm just saying. Yeah, Percocet, <laughs> Molly's and shit. Ooh, Percocet's no joke. <laughs> I wouldn't know that. Sorry. I just... Uh-oh. 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 Knee surgery. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Oh. I need to fucking trip up tomorrow. <laughs> oh. uh, no, 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 that was. Like, you was, that was like a, ten years ago. You was taking a knee. Oh, oh. That was a long time. Okay. That was flag football. Yeah, you know. that's another. Yeah, I was taking a knee. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, you was. <laughs> but no, but so you still got to be aware. Once again, we can't get overconfident because the Russians are there. We don't know what the what's going to happen in the fall. You know, some shit may go down. We may be at war during that time. And then the whole dynamics of fear kicks in. And that's what gets us all the time, fear. If you can put fear in the voter, mm-hmm. The voters normally go to the Republican side because that's who makes you feel mm-hmm. more secure because you got the warmongers over there or the people who always said we got to have a strong military. Right. You don't know. You just need to be prepared. And I think um, with these people that's in charge right now, they're pulling out anything that they can. That's why I'm hoping Muller comes out with something very soon. I was about to say, I don't think so. Yeah. Now, but two things. I just yeah. real quick. I'm losing hope on that. Real, well, mm-hmm. I don't. Muller. Well, yeah. we don't want to have another James Comey situation of a law enforcement official impacting an mm-hmm. election. So you know, October, November. So hopefully, I mean, September is even yeah, kind of close, close too, in terms of right before the, the election. So really has to be this month or next month august so the next 60 yeah. days i imagine has to if you don't want to look like you're influencing anything or it has to be after i, I think I, I think there was a report that he was supposed to wrap it up in september or he told what was it i think it was giuliani so it's gonna be right said, it's gonna be right before hey i'm gonna i'm gonna just put this shit yeah. out of here right before the dude is <laughs> fucked up and i'm about right. to get his ass <laughs> Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna influence the Pretty election, much. basically. Pretty he much. Don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. I mean, if he releases anything, uh, and I don't know, man. I'm losing hope with the Mueller thing. No, there's so much shit. They they keep breaking. The, they, yeah, but it, they raided. It gonna... No, they raided Cohen. Like yeah, so that was a year ago. Good. It's so much. That's what it feel like, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Giuliani go on Alcohol, TV. Like, I know. So, I know. Giuliani is creating new evidence. evidence. <laughs> oh. So it's, it's just think about. He just old. It's yeah. not a normal. I case. know. I hear you. It's just. I hear you. I just. I, just, I gave up, man. You know when you had the job. Mueller. You had the job, and that dude. <laughs> you know he's fucking up, and the manager keeps saying, "Oh, I, you know what? Oh, We're gonna take care of it. Don't worry." And the first couple of months, you going like this. Then, oh, know, yeah, they going to get his ass. And he keeps doing the same shit. And then you'd be like, look, mm-hmm. man, HR, so, this guy's over here. Look, look, look. The manager's going to take care of it. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. And then three more months go by. You was like, fuck know, this. Yeah. This dude ain't going nowhere. He ain't going no fucking where. That's what it feels mm-hmm. like. Showing up to work late, taking long lunches. Fucking eating everybody else's and lunches and shit. Yeah. Leaving, yeah, leaving, I was, yeah. leaving early. Yeah. Fucking up the Above reports. Yeah. Yeah. Then he gets a fucking EE. And you're like, look, man, you said I met, but this motherfucker got an E. How did you know? Because he said so. Well, he shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I know he shouldn't have, but you're still not doing nothing about him. Well, don't worry. We're working on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking done with this. <laughs> That's what I feel with Mueller. He, it's, there's so much yeah. evidence 
and you know i'm not a lawyer so i'm not sure if he can be prosecuted for that but you can assume there's a lot of shit that he should have he should have but is right. it prosecutable you know what i mean can you truly prosecute? that's probably like what it is, is, is yes yeah. i think someone is going to jail people have been charged but there's especially the whole cohen situation that that in itself to me is just there's so much data to go through and it, i don't know if if they weren't so dumb <laughs> and creating new evidence i think it'd be easier but they're like watch the news oh shit now we gotta why so why on yesterday did you say he wasn't there and then two days before you said he was there oh um, i plead the fifth you you fucking can't <laughs> answer a question and plead the fifth then turn around and answer the next question you can't fucking keep doing that so so that's the the issue and then i don't think we have a, a president on twitter talking shit is that evidence i don't know <laughs> it is yeah no, it, it is. It is, but, what, but they're not knowing shit about it. It's, I mean, they can use that as like, you know, they can use that in a case if they got it, something to, and was it an indict? They have to indict him or what? I don't know. Whatever they need to get to gather in order to have a true case to bring against the president, you know, but I don't think they have anything strong enough. I bet. I bet that's exactly. Look, they got all his people around him. Predictions. They don't have I, 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 wanna, I don't know if we're at the point where we want to do yeah, predictions. About but we have, I do yeah, have about one that. prediction. All right. um, Rick Perry and um, what's the fuck? Ben Carson. First, <laughs> no, no. Well, first of all, I gotta get give, fired. Not fired. I gotta give the ETA <laughs> guy credit because this motherfucker has been Teflon Don. This motherfucker's. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, like, just... He's just doing every goddamn thing with his yeah. phone booth yeah. in his in his office. Yeah, nigga, he, I know, so he's making a mixtape. That's his rap booth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sound booth. Yeah. 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 Are you feeling me, niggas? <laughs> yeah, he's doing the tracks. Like, yeah. oh, bro. Oh. Got the studio. So I think Ben Carson. I think out of the, I don't know what's gonna happen, but out of the two, mm-hmm. like first of all, Rick Perry. I still don't understand what he's doing. So I, I, I see him just not lasting long. Or I feel like something is going to go wrong and happen. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah. Like resign I think, or I think, something's going to something's gonna break? Yeah. But why, though? I don't, out of all the things that's been going on. I know. That's he's just not my feeling. popping up out of My anything. gut feeling is he's too dumb yeah. to keep it running smoothly for that amount of time. I think... Be, <laughs> But it's not but but it's not even that he's to do anything. He's probably allowing everybody to do their job yeah, because okay, he doesn't out. know what they so, do anyway. You know, gas mm. spiking up, you know, we're we've been creeping up towards three dollars higher than that in some places. Whatever, whatever. So I'm just kinda yeah, like, shit. you know, I just that's my prediction. Because HUD HUD doesn't do anything and shit, you know, Department of Education, we've been dumb for a while and then Gas is cool up here though, right? That might be a Georgia thing. Yeah. yeah. I was that's like, what I'm saying. I'm saying that's like, that's good. Three, but... Yeah. It's like th- it was like low three. I don't yeah, know. I forget what it was. Like three ten. No. Average. No, no, that's 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 fifty. Oh, that yeah, I thought that was average. In the city, it is three dollars here I, in Atlanta. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so what oh, I'm saying is that continues to creep. So, blah blah blah. And then with these fucking tariffs, yeah. the you know energy can be impacted. So we just have to kind of wait and see. So I, I yeah. say Rick Perry is going to be too dumb. To respond to a crisis, mm-hmm. that's my prediction. Yeah. So if a if a crisis, I mean, occurs, I, too dumb. I mean, anything. That's, can that's my this, prediction. He's out of there. This whole shit goes, shit, uh, administration. I feel like something <laughs> may go to the left. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that it's it's a matter of time. It's not going to happen right now. It's about lunch. to be summer. Oh, okay. Or whatever they got their recess or something. I don't know what's going on, but somebody's going to step down. Somebody's gonna. Yeah. I don't even think it's gonna be fired right now. I think it's because I haven't seen any firings much going on. But you already hit that year. One year is about to hit two and later on. People are gonna start resigning. They're gonna be like, right, I did my work. It might even be Rick Perry. He's like, you know, fuck this. I don't know what I'm doing. I got it on my resume, and then he's out. And then all of a sudden, they're gonna get somebody worse. That's that's how this just gonna work. Yeah, that's because he got that bench players mm-hmm. that's gonna. That's worthless as fuck. That's gonna come up and say, yeah, "Okay, yeah. you're next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there." Chick Fil A, the Chick Fil A CEO. Yep. Yeah. 
There's, there's my <laughs> prediction. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Yeah, the Chick Fil A series. He's gonna run the gas. Oh, he's gonna be the ambassador to North Korea. Some some bullshit. Uh, yeah. Or or if not, was was uh, Pat Robinson's oh, son? You know, he he'll be there. <laughs> I don't have any man. Yeah. I just I'm. It's so shit is going so badly. It's like <laughs> even if you say something, you're afraid that it's gonna be true anyway yeah, because it's yeah, just it's yeah. it's almost not a prediction. It's just when is it gonna happen? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you if you say, well, I don't think it'll get any worse, then it's you like, oh no. my God, dude, what the fuck No, it's gonna this? get worse. It's gonna stack up. I mean, you gotta you gotta kinda look at it as like what's what's like, okay, so we know the elections are coming. We know uh football season's gonna start later on, you know, so the anthem shit's gonna ramp up a little bit. Um mm-hmm. I mean hurricane season, so you know, decisions are gonna have to get made. That's in like August, yep. I think. I mean, it's probably going to die down right now. We're going to hear more about scandals over the summer. Mueller's probably going to drop some more shit. You know, it's kind of or arrest somebody. Yeah. I think he's gonna he's gonna you know arrest somebody soon. Right, right. I mean, any day now it's going to be uh, uh, Donald Trump Jr. because they keep going into those meetings that he has or had. Um, I don't know. I just it's 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 almost going to be just be like the same shit. It's just going to keep stacking up. The media is not going to do shit about it. They're just going to go to the next story. They're going to be mm-hmm. scared because they want to keep the access. So the only guy who's going to say anything is Jim Acosta and um, April Ryan out of the, the 100 in that room. So, I mean, that's that's the way I feel, bro. Like, it's like we just got to wait till 2020 or like the Democrats got to take over in September or November. Because, man, I'm just <laughs> – we they just let this nigga just, just, just take over, man. That shit. Just, just take over. Piss me off, man. <laughs> and it's and it's it's just hard, bro. Just, it's just like look, <laughs> it's just so what fucking do today, hard, man? dude. What you, what you, oh, yeah, what's just, next, man? I didn't even look at the news to see what the fuck he did because I'm not even following his tweets. And you can imagine what the fuck he's tweeted. I don't even yeah, I don't even read the tweets anymore. It used to be like, oh shit, what he say? I used to read that shit. But, oh fuck him, you know. Now it's, yeah. now it's just like uh, I don't even read it. It's just like oh wait, he, he he said something. That's what's up. It's probably some yep. shit. Something. Off, some some bullshit. Yep. Yeah. I wait for them to quote it now. You yeah. know what I mean? I wait Let for somebody to say, me. oh yeah, this is what he fucking said. Then I'll be like, Yeah. Dude, man. <laughs> this fucking dude, man. Damn. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Anywho, yeah. I think we went through all of it. Um <laughs> I don't think we missed much. But there was a lot of shit going down. But uh, you, you're right. I think the biggest thing coming up now is, you know, the primaries is pretty much mm-hmm. set. They're they're pretty set. And the only thing that will sway it is the Russians and um, a war or, <laughs> I don't know, something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm saying that is because it's already happened. So it's not like... Mm-hmm. This is far fetched. Nothing that we're saying is far fetched. Now we in an era right. that any fucking thing can happen, right? Anything, and that's the scary part. You know what I mean? The scary mm-hmm. part is anything that you can actually think of. This dude will be part of it and either allow it to happen or be instigating it, and that's yeah. what's fucked up, right? Which is why we need everybody to go out to vote, man. When. Mm-hmm. When your primaries come, when you when it's time for you to go out there, man, register. Because I mean, <laughs> everything we said right now, you know. So yeah, our, our way of life is being threatened. Yeah. Well, any last things, Chaz? I mean, I can't believe this shit is happening. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I feel like we started real high, and then all of a sudden at the end, yeah, man, like, it's shit. fucking exhausting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, no, just, you know, it's, it's, we, I, I say this every time. That's why I, I can't. I just can't believe. It. I don't know. It's fucked up. It's just like yeah. like you said. You know, realistically, it's just just new people in yeah. try to push a different agenda. Hopefully, and uh, you know, that's really uh-huh. it. I think just the key yeah. thing, yeah. like I was I was alluding to earlier, is his supporters are going to support him and. And they're not gonna see anything wrong, so that kind of that conversation isn't really gonna go anywhere. So it's kind of right. on if you really want to see change, you have to go outside of 
those group of people, like, you know, mm-hmm. Trump supporters, Republicans, unfortunately. Yeah. Some there are some moderates, but oh, the fucking party now. I mean, just, yeah. it's building. Shambles, in my opinion. Um, it's building. Put it that way. The party is building outside of what the status quo has right now. I mean, I even saw um, who was that? Bernie Sanders. Um, he was talking about how he's trying to get uh, a labor party for Disney, and then he's going to walk with Black Lives Matters. But his his impact has lessened because of the extremism that's going on in the country. Because before it was lighthearted and you you can feel good about it. Now it's almost like what he's doing is the right thing, but we need more than what he's mm-hmm. actually providing. Right. That's the sad part. Exactly. Because I think what he's saying and the things that he's doing is is perfect. It's right. No, it's right. But it doesn't feel like it's enough. Which is crazy. In order to mm-hmm. say we can mm-hmm. win this or can take over mm-hmm. to stop the bleeding. You know what I mean? Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what he is. I actually feel like also Stacey Abrams, like maybe she has the playbook. How I heard how um, the two Stacys, the the Democrats, the, they were going in and they were trying to win the 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 primary. How um, the Democrats were trying to one was trying to do it where they were trying to get those Trump supporters that voted mm-hmm. for Obama, but they end up voting for Trump. Um, or the ones that don't like Trump anymore because they voted for him and then they messed up and you know the they, guilt, kind of the they, guilt. They felt it. like, yeah, basically, you know, try to get those appeased to the white, you know, rural, whatever, you know, the people that the Trump supporters. But instead, Stacey Abrams was just like, you know, no, forget that. Like, I'm wasting my time doing that. Let me get the people that didn't vote. You know, let's. Go out and talk to them, get them to come out, let them believe that we can overcome and we can actually beat the Trump supporters. Let me get women, you know, and show them that we can do it. You know, the Me Too movement. Let me move with that. You know, she went that direction where the Democratic. um, This is what I I heard in the reports, like the daily the podcast I listened to was saying how um, the what is it? The Democratic. What is that group called? The Democratic campaign, not the campaign, the. The group of uh, the, I don't know what they're called. The, the, the guy that the chairman that runs the, the D- Democratic side and all yeah, them, the, the whole Democrat committee. National, um, some DNCC or some shit. Yeah. The DNC. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're talking, they're trying, they're, they're trying to regulate the primaries and they're trying to go after people that have the money. They're trying to go after the, the Democrats that can um, fit like this status quo. You know, the they have this formula and they're saying, like, based off of the numbers, you shouldn't run and all this stuff. And people like Stacey Abrams and there's also a woman um, in California that's running. Um, that's a doctor. That's um, Asian woman. Um, same kind of deal where she's just trying to go after not Trump supporters, but go after, you know, the, the people that didn't vote, the people that are on the Democratic side and actually go for the right causes, not this racist shit or whatever in the dnc it's just like nah you shouldn't you shouldn't run you, you need to sit down because you don't have the money you, we need people with big money we need people that talk to you know the white middle class and then so what i'm trying to say is i wonder if that's the that's where we need to go you know that's the direction we need to go we need everyone to vote and we need everyone to actually try to run so that this problem that we have that we don't know who's gonna when or who's at the top or who's going to lead this party, maybe this is what's needed, you know? Maybe we need to correct what's wrong right now, and then we yep. need to start Some winning sort. these fucking elections. Yep. So. Wow. Well, yeah. Man, we yeah. ended on a down note. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we normally be a lot yeah. fucking up, well, upbeat I about think, shit. Truth, truth be told, this is we have been, this long as fuck, yep. which I'm glad, I'm glad we have started early. Yeah. Wait and see. That's really what this it is. Why, this yeah. is why you got to start early. <laughs> yep, yep. Because we got to start on a regular time. We go like, bro, it's like 11 o'clock at night, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I got to go. Yeah, man. <laughs> Real talk. I know, I know. Hey, well, let me, let me yeah. end with this prediction real quick. So, uh, Warriors and oh, Five. Man. Warriors and Four, dude. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs>
No, nah, we. They gotta, yeah. Okay. They got to see right. what Ronnie Hood gonna do. I was Ronnie trying to get one. They give him some. Yep. <laughs> Can't be worse than Jr. Can't be worse than him. Jr. Smith. Put in shit. Put in eat. Put in Eric. <laughs> Eric gonna give you two. And a and a rebound. Go, you, you and know, a say, rebound at least. One. Sure. <laughs> a single, single. <laughs> the one and one, and that's not at the line. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? He's back to the yeah, Cleveland of old. He got a fucking squad full of nobodies again. This shit, <laughs> fucking full bums. Full of bums. And made it. No, yeah. no. Celtics is just young. They, they would have had their squad been together. They had, yeah. they had a shot, and then they didn't win off bullshit. Yeah. They won off. They nah, just won. They, they didn't win off calls mm-hmm. or questionable. They just won off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, they was balling. Show up on that game yeah, session, that so. usually happens. Yeah. I don't want to think about it. Ron, you know. True. Yeah, when true. the court, when the Warriors win, it's a win for the. They're villains. Yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah, they so they, they're part Trump. of the, um, like the it's, New England Patriots shit. Now. That's yeah. who they are. Go, yeah, go against mm-hmm. the big, go against the little guy. Well, anywho, uh, repo, rethink politics, and see us uh, Mondays when we're available Mondays and <laughs> and um, find us on iTunes <laughs> and Bougie Black yep. Bro under Instagram and what's that Podbean yep. we're on all the podcasts so you can yep. find us on all the podcasts yeah so yep rate us can do something complain about it everywhere oh, we're good us. yeah um, let me get a let me get a plug in real quick. Uh, <laughs> check out my website, chazmjenkins.com. Chazmjenkins.com. Got some, some good got some blogs on there. Some articles. You're doing your yeah, thing. Yeah. You're doing your yeah, thing. Sir. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. So check us out. Uh, we appreciate your time, and we will see you soon on Repo. Rethink politics. Later. <laughs> <laughs>